Hi, Chris. Hi, Barbara. Boy, we were talking and I, I just said, we just have to record this. This is like been amazing, right? Yeah, I, I've appreciated the discussion. We've been talking about um, this idea of holidays of hope. And um, one of the things that you and I were both discussing was this climate that we're in right now that we're, um, you know, we're, many of us are struggling through this pandemic. And um, it's been really challenging um, in a whole, for a whole variety of reasons. But, and, and despite those challenges, you know, we, we've had a chance to explore a little bit about how can we proceed um, with the sense of hope despite those challenges. And it's so many people. You and I were talking and it, it was not just educators. It ended up, you know, thinking about our students and the families and the people, the healthcare providers. Everybody is in this together and it's worldwide. And so we were trying to figure out how do we do holidays of hope? Where do we start? And we thought what we do is start with some of the people that responded to your, um, you put out a tweet on holidays of hope and some people just jumped on it right away. But we went, where do we go now? <laughs> you know, I think part of it too, Barbara, is that, um, you know, many of us, uh, despite our struggles are blessed with so much. Um, and sometimes, and, and I can speak for myself, sometimes there's so much I take for granted, despite the struggles I may be going through on any given day. Um, so many blessings that we have. And, and maybe it's just sometimes just stepping back, reflecting on who it is I am and what I've been blessed with. Um, it may be a place to begin. It certainly is for me. Um, and then, and then the other piece for me uh, has been about, as I think about this holiday season, how can I reach out to others? What is it that I can do? What are some simple things that I can do to be able to, to assist those that, that really may be in need, a need that maybe I'm not experiencing? So say, things as simple as, um, you know, giving to those who are going without, in particular, those who go without food, as an example. Mm -hmm. um, and, and how is it that I can use some of my resources to be, and, and maybe not a lot, but maybe some of my resources to be able to assist those who, who struggle with, with having the basic necessities of life. Um, so for me, with what you said to me, and you were telling me what you're doing, I think there's a lot of stories out there. And we were thinking that we would set up a, a DM group in Twitter we put a Google Doc together. We put this video. We're thinking that what we do is collect the stories. But the other thing that I said that would be really good, and um, Chris is already doing it, is where can we help? What can we do? And so people are already doing things. So maybe like for me, I want to donate to the local food bank. So we're thinking that we'll create some place, some on, online site or, or collect it, uh, curated in uh, you know, one of the portals that other people can jump in and share what they're doing and maybe the stories that they have. And I like that, Barbara, and I like your focus on, on local, thinking locally, what can we do? And I'm even thinking as educators, even within our own buildings, I think sometimes the power of listening is incredible. Like to sit down and to listen to somebody else who may be going through something that I may or may not be able to relate to and building that sense of empathy. Um, so whether it's within our families, whether it's out in our communities, whether it's within our buildings in which we work, um, just really making the effort. And I know it's hard sometimes because I know we lead such busy lives, um, but to be able to take the time just to, to journey with, even if it's one person, to be able to listen um, to what they need to share. Um, but, I, but I like what you talked about, Barbara, too, and the outreach within the community. What are small things that we can do that can, for some people, really make a difference? Um, one of the things that I think I mentioned to you, Barbara, is that uh, my wife and I are trying to support some families through the holiday season um, 
by providing hampers and you know with food and clothing and so on for families that really need that and then me being able to make deliveries um, to families uh, of gifts that may not have any kind of gift otherwise a material gift of some kind um, and I've done some of this in the past where the joy that some experience just from the simple act of giving and the willing and the, and the knowing that um, somebody cared enough to come to me. Um, so that's so beautiful. We need to do that. And you know, a lot of people don't know what to do. They're, they're scared. Um, they're not going out. So what if we come up that we're, this is just the beginning, everyone, we're yeah. Chris and I are thinking about it, but uh, it's launching. <laughs> anyway, holidays of hope. That's the Twitter hashtag. And Chris came up with this. And he's, um, I just feel so honored to know you, Chris. And the idea that you're reaching out to a family in need is what a lot of us want to do, but we don't know how. So maybe telling your story, how you did that will be good for people to hear. And so um, I really, this is something I've been wanting to do. And I really thank you so much for taking the lead on it and uh, being part of it and reaching out to me. I feel so honored to that you did that. Barbara, I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart how grateful I am to you for your willingness to connect with me on this. Um, you've inspired me for all the length of time I've known you through Twitter. And I am delighted to know that um, we can kind of join forces, but also connect with some other people um, in our spheres uh, and bring them on board and hopefully grow something that will um, will make a difference, however small or however large it is. We don't know yet. And we don't even know because we're thinking that we're doing holidays of hope. We're thinking it might be needed after the holidays too. Um, so look for this video, fo follow it, retweet it, whatever, when we put it up, we're going to get it out there soon. We want you to know that uh, you're not alone. We're all going to work together. And um, like I said, Chris is amazing. So I'm I, between the two of us, we're going to make this happen. <laughs> Join us, please. We look forward to having you on board with us. Join us. So thank you, Chris. Thanks, Barbara. Be safe. You too.